Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about the types of eggs. When I say egg, I'm actually referring to the ovum. Ovum is a haploid gamete of female. So basically, the classification of egg is mostly based on the yolk grind. Yolk is the nutritive material which is utilized by the embryo during early stages of development. The major component of yolk is a protein called as vitellogenin. Okay, now let's talk about the classification of egg. Eggs are classified on two bases. First is the distribution of yolk granules inside the egg. Second is size of the yolk granules. Now let's focus on the first criteria that is distribution of yolk granules in the egg. On this basis, where the yolk granules are localized or concentrated, the eggs are classified into four types. First is a lesical egg. Second is homolesical, also called as isolesical egg. Third is centrolesical egg. Fourth one is telolesical egg. Let's see one by one what are all these types. The first one is a lesical egg. The type of egg in which, listen carefully, the type of egg in which yolk is totally absent or very very minute amount of yolk is present such type of eggs are referred to as erlesical eggs the best example of erlesical egg is a human egg the diagram for which is given over here if you see in this particular diagram you will not see any yolk present in it let's move on to the next type which is homolecithal or isolecithal egg. The eggs in which the yolk granules are evenly distributed throughout the egg are referred to as homolecithal or isolecithal eggs. You will not find any area having more or less amount of yolk granules. Everywhere the yolk granules are going to be evenly distributed. The example is given over here. Here you can see the Amphioxus egg in which even distribution of dark granules is seen. And what are these dark granules? These dark granules are nothing but the yolk granules. Okay. So the next one is Centrolecithal egg. Here the yolk granules are located into the interior to the cytoplasm. Okay. The yolk granules take the central position and are surrounded by the cytoplasm on the periphery. Okay. The best example of it is the insect egg. Okay. Next type of egg is the telolecithal egg. In this kind of eggs, the yolk is unequally distributed throughout the egg. So you find one part of the egg is heavily concentrated with yolk, whereas other part has lesser concentration of the yolk granules. This part, which is heavily laden with yolk granule, is referred to as vegetal foam. Eggs and reptiles show this kind of egg. Here you can see in the diagram we have an egg of the hen. If you see here there is a large amount of yolk present. Actually the entire egg is comprising of the yolk and the cytoplasm will be only present in the form of small disc which is called as blasto disc. 
and this blastodisc which will actually develop into an embryo if the egg is fertilized okay now moving on to the next basis of classification which is size of the yolk gland on this basis the eggs are categorized into three categories one microlecithal eggs second mesolecithal eggs third macrolecithal or megalecithal eggs let's see what are they one by one <coughs> microlecithal egg. when the size of the yolk granule is very small such eggs are considered as microlecithal eggs again the best example is amphioxus egg amphioxus egg is microlecithal egg okay moving on to the next type which is macrolecithal or megalecithal kind of eggs here the size of the yolk granules is very very large if you can see in the egg the outer structure outer circle is the egg and the inner green color structures are the yolk granules okay so if you see the size of the yolk granules is very large over here now let's move on to the next category which is mesolecithal eggs now mesolecithal eggs are the eggs which are characterized by presence of moderate sized yolk granules meaning they are not as small as microlecithal eggs nor they are as big or as large as megalecithal eggs okay the best example of this is the amphibian egg now let's i have made a comparative diagram where you will be able to compare the yolk granule size so if in the microlecithal egg you see very very small green color yolk granules in the mesolecithal egg the size of the yolk granules is moderate and in the macrolecithal or megalecithal egg the size of the yolk granules is very very large so this is all about the classification of eggs from my side thank you so much